Good morning! Assalamualaikum, Hello Media Japan. It's your girl Zah. And if you're a Muslim lady like me, you will understand the struggle of having to wait at least half a year or even years before you can go back home to your home country, go to a beauty salon, and get yourself pampered like the queen that you are. But I decided that today I'm going to go to the first Muslim friendly beauty salon at Kobe, get myself pampered, and I will take you guys on this journey with me. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Okay, so we're off to Kobe. As you can see, it's a gloomy, gloomy day in Osaka. So I actually heard about this salon from a colleague of mine, and I was told to check the website of Halal Media Japan, which I did, and I found that this was apparently the first Muslim-friendly salon at Kansai or Kobe area, which I thought was really amazing. And so I tried to figure out how to get there and access wise I realized that it was super easy I just had to take the Takarazuka go all the way to Juso, switch train once and that was it Okay, so we're here at Okamoto That's where the station is, Okamoto And the owner of the salon is actually going to meet us at the station which I thought was really really nice of her so we are going to see her and she is going to take us to the salon and apparently it's a walking distance five minutes away from the station so i thought that was really really convenient fun fact so i looked it up and there's only one muslim friendly beauty salon at kansai region how surprising is that but if you look up tokyo there's so many more and I hope we can have more Muslim-friendly beauty salons in Kobe or Osaka or any Kansai region just like at Chiba or Tokyo. Okay, so I met a Muslim sister. She's Japanese and we met at the station and she's gonna take me to the salon. So, we'll see how long it takes. We're going to start. We're here! Konnichiwa! Four minutes. ソルシエルの茶器ともみと言います。よろしくお願いします。ソルシエルはえっと現在日本のお客様も含めて18カ国のお客様をお越しいただいてます。ムスリムの方もたくさんお越しいただいてます。ま、ムスリムの方だけじ
グループできたりすると、はい、あのその中の一人が英語できるとか現地語だけの人もいるし全く日本語話せない人もいましたいますいますどうだったんですか頑張って英語しゃべる、うん、で顔を柔らかくして赤ちゃんのお肌に I just got my face done. I think you can tell how it's way better than before, but I'm gonna get my face massaged and my head as well, so I'm gonna take this entire thing off, but I'll come back to you later. Okay, so I just got my face done and my hair done, and today we are going to fill out the guest book. So, everyone who's been here, every Muslim、um, customers who've been here, apparently they write something on this book, so I'm also going to do the same. Personally, I really, really, really love the service. I think I love the fact that they're willing to shut the entire salon down for Muslim customers, Muslim ladies' customers, but it doesn't mean they're not welcome to any other Japanese customers or non Muslim customers from all around the world. So it's also very friendly to any kind of hairstyle. All the products that they're using are also. Ethical and Muslim friendly products, which I thought it was something that I would never thought about when I was still in Indonesia. So, personally, I would rate this 10 out of 10. Price wise, a lot of people would think it's too expensive, and I do agree as a university student that this is slightly more beyond my price range. But I do believe that all ladies out there and gentlemen, you know, you need to treat yourself every once in a while. You deserve to treat yourself every once in a while. So, I think if you only come for, you know, once every year or twice a year, I think the price is completely fine. So I would recommend it. Okay, so another part that's really cool about the salon is that they also offer you prayer mat and prayer kit if you would like to pray. Please come to my shop.